We are wrapping up American Heart Month and Jackie has another story to share with us. This one out of Lexington. Yeah, I met a first responder there and she told me she's worked with patients for years who were going through heart failure. She never thought she would end up being the patient. The helicopter could, would go to accident scenes, lifting patients. It was always, we pick up patients that are having heart attacks and fly them to a bigger hospital. It's never been you know, you could be there someday. <laughs> but there Alyssa Rao was, the flight paramedic, sitting in the hospital in July of 2023, being told her heart was failing. And I said, no, I think you have the wrong patient. She thought she was just tired, having just moved with her husband from Montana to Lexington, North Carolina for new jobs, and maybe a little more out of breath than normal, but the left side of her heart had actually stopped working, causing her lungs to fill with fluid. I knew as a flight paramedic that their, you know, what, what heart failure patients look like, and I guess I didn't see myself that way. I didn't think I was, you know, that sick. Medication wasn't working, so they started looking at finding a heart transplant, but there was an issue with that too. My blood is full of antibodies. It's like 93% antibodies. So I have about a 7% chance of finding a heart. They um, decided, you know, we need to look at this LVAD because uh, my life expectancy was less than two years. And we decided I would rather make my 50th birthday. <laughs> she got the LVAD in late January. This is from the open heart. Which attaches to her left ventricle. This is my drive line that comes out of my belly here. To pump blood through the rest of her body. Instead of like a heartbeat on that side, it's just a hum now. Walk me through what's on your cart. So these are all the extra batteries. And while it's a lot of parts. Oh wow. So yeah. it's, it's a lot. And medications. I'll never be able to vacuum again, which is not bad. <laughs> Rao always seems to find the bright side. It's a, a new lease, just a new lease on life. I can talk without having to stop and take a breath which I didn't realize I was doing so much. She is still limited in activity, potentially never working as a flight paramedic again. You know, I love that job. I love taking care of other people. And she's still settling into the idea of others taking care of her. They all say they love you. <laughs> but Rao says she's thankful for this love and support carrying her through each extra day she now gets. Just having that positive attitude that, you know, if God woke me up today, and I'm going to do the best I can with it, and um, always have that attitude. And Elisa says she can be on that LVAD for years, maybe even decades. Wow. She's met other people who have, and that serves as a bridge to transplant until maybe they can find that rare, perfect heart. Now, I do want to mention there's a GoFundMe set up to support Elisa and her family through this sudden amount of medical expenses mm -hmm. they were not prepared for even a year ago. We have that link posted right now on our website, WXI12.com. Thank you, Jackie, for sharing her story.